Hello there everyone, thank you for actually clocking on to what this is, and this is the It's Morgan podcast. But if you would like to contact me and ask me anything, or have my opinion, or just want to shout out, or anything you like really, it's 0121, this isn't a phone number by the way, this is 0121, it's Morgan at gmail.com. That's 0121, it's Morgan at gmail.com. How you doing all? Hope you're well. Just to let you know, this is the first one that I'm recording that is actually going out there in the podcast world. It's not just going on YouTube. No, 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 no. It's actually going on the podcast streaming services for your pleasure. So you don't have to keep the screen on because somebody said, when are you going in the podcast? When are you going in the podcast? Well, I don't know. I want to get around to it. I want to see how I flow when I'm doing things a little different. I'm not using my phone. I'm not using the microphone. I'm actually recording straight into the computer to resolve some editing issues. And so far, well, this whole thing's just a test and this is going out there. So this should be episode four off the top of my head. So we're gonna see how this rolls. So we're gonna see how we're getting on. I've given my email address out, so feedback will be welcome and questions or anything like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yesterday was International Women's Day. Jolly good. And it makes me think about those women, particularly Joan of Arc. Because that girl was on fire. Moving on, uh, British weather. Snowing, oh God, everything's gotta to come to a standstill now because it's snowing. Oh dear, the world's coming to an end. It's giving stock up on bread and milk and cauliflower and tomatoes and cucumber because there's a little bit of snow on the ground. Well, actually, there's a fair bit, to be honest. Well, uh, my standard there's a fair bit. It is, it is quite horrific trying to drive out there, particularly when your brakes don't work and you come into a red light. Ah, but I'm still here to tell the tale. Oh, but the price of everything has gone up, hasn't it? Yes, it's all gone up now. So what am I to do? I don't know. It's all gone up, all gone up, everything's right. Perfect example of something going up is the rhubarb crumble. And I'm very impartial to the rhubarb crumble because it's very, very delicious. Not good for my diet at all, but the rhubarb crumble, very, very delicious. It goes on at 99 pence in the supermarket I like to go to the Thursday afternoon or evening, whenever. But it was normally 99p and it used to be 99p. It's never going back down to 99p. It's now £1.29, something like that. So the price of that has gone up, for example, the rhubarb crumble, with everything else going up. That's if you can get your hands on stuff with what's going on in Spain last year with their harvest. So getting your cucumbers is a nightmare, getting your tomatoes is a nightmare. So not only is food going up, but actually getting your hands on food. And with the snow at the moment, it's gonna panic buy, everyone go out there and panic, panic, buy all the toilet roll and stock up, get all the eggs. Oh, that's another one, the avian flu as well. So the chickens have had to self-isolate as well. So eggs are a bit, on the short side at the moment but now everything's panicking but all this stuff going on with inflation and all this hoo-ha going on it made me think what business is going to struggle the most have a have a t- i know what business is going to struggle the most right have a little think and think about the business that you think is going to struggle right now with all this i bet you've not got the correct answer because the correct answer is your slimming world, your weight watchers, the I'm overweight, I'm gonna go and weigh myself once a week in front of everyone and pay for the privilege as well. Those businesses, they're the ones that are really gonna struggle over the next couple of years because if the price of food's going up, who the hell is gonna pay for one of these? You know, you go to one of these community centers or it's normally a church, you go to the church, you go for a crap before you weigh in to try and get shift a pound or two to be told, well done, you've just lost this weight, then go straight over the road to the nearest chippy and have a chippy. All those saturated fats and carbohydrates as well, this is gonna go on. Oh, but I've been so good this week, I've lost two pounds. Yeah, you're probably gonna put three back on and that with the wine and the sugar and everything, it's no good for you. But these businesses are really gonna struggle. So if you're struggling to buy food, yet you're going to a slimmer's thing, and you're paying for that, I'd rather that three quid will go towards a cucumber or something like that, but hey ho, that's me. What else has happened to me to sort of round up this? It's only gonna be a short one, this, because, you know, times are ticking. Bumped into someone I hadn't met in a while. This is going on the Facebook, sort of social media side of things. Now, I'm on Instagram, going back to, hold on, where am I? Right, going back to this guy. It was sort of like, hello, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. What happened? 
oh you got married how many kids have you got oh that's wonderful oh i'm so sorry to hear about such and such no i've not heard about what's his name oh no has he gone off the rails yeah it was nice to have that conversation because a couple of about a year ago similar thing bumped into someone oh hello how are you oh it's all right i know everything about you because you put it on facebook so I, I know everything about you because you put it on facebook now i'm on facebook but i'm only really using it for the marketplace things like that but i'm on instagram but i haven't posted anything in fact I rarely use it i'm on twitter which is good for the natural disaster emergencies because someone's always put it on twitter so it'll be on there but with everything else going on instagram i haven't posted anything yet i've noticed people are following me recently quite recently and it's not because of this podcast i haven't advertised it yet yet notice i haven't advertised it yet and it's doing quite well so i don't know if people have found me but these are people who i know i went to school with used to work with etc for recently have just started adding me on instagram because everyone on facebook i just got rid got rid of my picture profile and everything but instagram why are you following me i'm not going to post anything interesting you know why you're following me on instagram because you're all nosy bastards that's it that's the only reason why you know who you are you can follow me if you like as i say i'm not putting anything in there it's adam paul morgan oh is that the time it's lunchtime. No, it isn't. It's two o'clock in the afternoon on the 9th of the 3rd with the weather. As I say, yesterday was International Women's Day, just to get the timelines right. What else we got coming up? Pedro. Pedro is everywhere. Pedro Pascal. Monday after, Monday evenings is normally me watching him deal with zombies while take escorting a young lady to wherever. I've completed the game as well, and they are both fantastic games, part one and part two. I won't say anything about part two if you're really enjoying the series and you've not played the game. And Wednesdays are the taking Grogu, Baby Yoda for non-Star Wars people, taking Grogu to wherever. And in between them, you've got them fantastic sort of video memes with um, make your own kind of music. And there is some funny ones out there and there's some not so funny ones out there. But yeah, he's everywhere at the moment. He advertises my favourite wine, which he was advertising before... No, hang on. No, I was drinking it. Yes, I was drinking this wine. I haven't drunk any now. I was drinking this wine before he started advertising it. But he was the snake in the Game of Thrones as well. Did anyone mention anything about him then? No, he was just this one guy who didn't make it to the next season. Makes you think about The Last of Us Part 2. Don't want to give too much away. Or Season 2 or wherever it's going. But yeah, oh, you know, he's everywhere at the moment. And if that's what you do as a living and you've got work coming in fair play to you you go for it you save up for a little pension pot so you don't have to work ever again fair play to you so if you could do the subscribe if in fact don't oh, oh god oh there we go there we go right this podcast is coming to an end and the one thing that really and irritates me and this is on youtube on my youtube channel and all the other youtube stuff and i hear it in a couple of podcasts i listen to as well is when whoever is broadcasting whoever's talking and they'd start doing the begging for the oh please subscribe please please like the video like share and subscribe that irritates me like hell i shouldn't you shouldn't really have to advertise the like share and subscribe if i dislike it I'd rather someone tell me it's crap than someone go, yeah, it's all right. Because to me, that's crap. So the podcast, yeah, this is sort of the test run. This is the first one where it's going out there and I'm going to be regular updated as well. Just got a few little tweaks because I'm actually using as the microphone. So it probably sounds crap. I'll have a look and have a tinker. The actual webcam, which is plugged in via USB that I use for my very first YouTube experimente way back when i think it's over seven years ago now all the way back then that's been held up by a mug that had tea in it about 20 minutes ago so it's all experimentation so if you it's not going to be perfect there's no there's no way but i'm going on the learning curve of this where i'm going to instead of trying to go all right let's go full blast let's make this the best thing ever first time round. no i'm going to take a step back do it and then say right let's try this let's try that that didn't work all right let's do this how about this that's the way i'm going to rumble 
with this. So this is the first recording that I've done that is actually going directly to the podcast services rather than onto YouTube and then uploaded to later. So yeah, it's still going on YouTube. I don't know why. It's getting a few couple of views, but again, I've not advertised this so whoever it was who was listening to this thank you very much and i hope you're listening to this one as well but i'm not i don't really want to go down the begging route of hey if you like this video please like share and subscribe to everyone no 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 if you like it you like it if you don't you don't if you listen to it you listen to it great fantastic but if you don't no well, i'm not going to go down that begging route am i like a lot of people do but that's it really it's a snowy day in the midlands and everyone is panic buying for their bread and milk should get a cow have plenty of milk then all sorted so right go through the email again it's 0121 and for the americans it's 01221 it's morgan at gmail.com send me anything i may reply and may even well most likely it's just an easy way for me to get material for the podcast so thank you very much have a good one and about a bit